Hi, my name is Gene Colan, and welcome to my studio. I was on Daredevil for approximately six years. I enjoyed it, every bit of it. It was getting to the point, though, where it was getting very difficult to keep choreographing the same fight scenes and have them look different. And sometimes I would bring it up to Stan, why are there so many fights in all these stories? Why can't we get away from it? He says, because it's, it's what the fans really want to see. I kept it fresh and original by approaching it each time as if it were the first time. Each time I got a story, and I, each time I handed a story and I got another one, it was always uppermost in my mind as to how different can I make this one and this one and so on. And as they came in, it was, it was almost like an assembly line, but I just threw myself into it. It lived another life in a sense. I tried to get into that story myself. I tried to jump into the page and try to um, imagine what it would be like to see it visually as an outsider. What, what, what am I looking for? What am I trying to capture? If there was a fight scene, uh, I would try to do it in a way that uh, would confuse the reader. Because in, in real life, very often you don't see the, de the, the, the details. You just see action. And you don't see things flying much uh, else but arms and legs and uh, people sailing over tables. Uh, but you don't see the details. And very often it's done in a dark room where you can even see less. But it's exciting. It's more dramatic that way. Uh, it uh, keeps the viewer on edge. I wanted the, the story to be sort of uh, mystifying and sinister. I was working for the older crowd, and I probably didn't know. I was really working for myself. I just, <laughs> I had such a good time uh, doing what I wanted to do and telling a story the way I wanted to tell it. I didn't want to tell it the simplest way. I wanted to get, I wanted to be confusing and I wanted to be complex and I wanted the reader to think about it a little bit, take it seriously, even though it's not a thing to take seriously, but I wanted them to take it seriously because I took it seriously. You have to really love what you're doing above and beyond anything else. It's just something you're drawn to, literally drawn to and whether you get paid or not get paid, and for anyone that's, that wants to study art or go into, uh, into art as a profession, if they're not passionate about it, the chances are they're not going to be that successful about it either. My feeling about what I'm doing, the love of, uh, that I have for it, how I want, how dramatic and how believable I want to make it to the readers gets right into the artwork. It's an unconscious thing. And that's how a, a style, I believe, is developed too. It, that's an unconscious thing. When you have it developed a style, it's as, like, it's as uh, recognizable as your hand, as your handwriting, same thing. Um, but to be successful in art or any other field, you have to really love it and be totally devoted to it. Unfortunately, uh, especially in my business, uh, it, a family life is missed. It's a sad thing, but you're not really with your family that much. You're, you're married to your art. And uh, I, ha I have some regrets about that, and there's nothing I can do about it. I did the best that I could, but my art seemed to come ahead of everything. Maybe that's what makes, uh, makes for the artist. And it meant nothing to me to stay up until, say, three or four in the morning to complete what I had to complete until it was right. Artists are very self-centered people. Uh, they love what they do to the exclusion of just about everything else. They kind of live in a bubble, at least the comic book artists do. I can't uh, continue the same pace. It's, I'm 76 now, and I just can't keep up with it. Uh, I don't have that kind of energy, um, but I still do it. I love doing it, and whenever I can, I do. But I'm trying to make up for the things that I didn't do also. I uh, pay a little more attention to my children, uh, to, certainly to my wife, who is uh, most 75% of the reason I'm still here. I am very grateful to her.